Bali is all set to host the G20 summit from the 15th to the 16th of November. The island, which has always been the epicenter of Indonesia's tourism destination, will soon be one of the geopolitical centers of the world. Our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidan Sibyl, gets you the latest from the ground. Well, Bali, known for its tourist locales, Hindu temples and uh, beautiful beaches, will be the center of the global geopolitics as uh, the world leaders descend in uh, the Indonesian province for the G20 summit. This is the 17th G20 summit and comes amidst uh, Russia-Ukraine conflict, a conflict that has impact on food, fuel and commodity prices. Uh, but of course, uh, there is a lot on the agenda. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be in Bali. He, of course, meets the diaspora, but also has a number of bilateral including with the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, with the French President Emmanuel Macron and as the White House has put it that the US President is also looking forward to meet the Indian Prime Minister. But a significant moment for India as the presidency will be handed over to New Delhi. But something that could hog the limelight is the meeting between the US President Joe Biden and the Chinese President Xi Jinping, a meeting of course uh, uh, which comes uh, even as both sides were logged in. Uh, in intentions after Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. Uh, we know that uh, while tensions look very much reduced now over Taiwan issue, this is something that could burst anytime. So any meeting is seen as a breakthrough and uh, while there not be many breakthroughs from the meeting, the fact that both leaders are meeting is uh, seen in a positive way. With video journalist Ajit Sidhan Sibyl for Vion in Bali, Indonesia. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.